So let's first take a look at the measurement tool. Now I'm going to zoom in to this area that I want to actually measure. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to zoom in or out. If I hold my mouse wheel down, I can pan around. Or if I use my right mouse button, I can pan around too. So I'm going to take some measurements on the building. To do that, I'm going to activate the measure tool. And I'm just going to pick some points on the outside edge of this part of the building. So you can see it's given me it's given me the length of each wall. And it's also calculated the perimeter length and the square footage. So you can see that this is showing you um, in feet and inches. You can just simply toggle that unit um, to see that in metric. You can copy to clipboard. And if you don't want to keep this as part of the project, you can just simply delete it. So to create some just simple measurements, I'm just going to take a quick few samples um, around this section here. So I'm going to activate the measure tool and I'm just going to measure the length of the door frames. So we've got one here. If I wanted to measure the distance from here across to here, and I'm going to just do a quick few other measurements. Zoom in. And you can see when I exit out the tool, there's all the measurements that I've taken. Now when I'm zoomed in this close, it's easy to see all the different measurements. But when you zoom out, it will consolidate those and just give you an icon so that you know there has been a measurement assigned to that area of your floor plan. Now you notice there's a spot here for annotations, but it's grayed out. When I click on that, you'll see that it's telling me I don't have the right permissions to edit the project. Only people with project editor rights can add annotations or tasks and notations. So in order to access this feature, you have to be given permission as a project editor. Now I've logged back into the project with elevated permissions and you'll see that the annotation button is now available and I can go ahead and create some annotations. So simply click the option and pick the point on the floor plan where you would like to have your annotations. So maybe we want to put an annotation that we need to have a fire extinguisher in here. So I'm going to just click a point. I'm just going to call that fire extinguisher with um, a notation, a number. And you can give it a description if you like. Now, if there is a task assigned to this, if you're specifically asking somebody to make sure there is a fire extinguisher in this location, you can go ahead and choose that person. You can assign a due date when you need that task to be completed. And you can set the status for that. So you can have this as open. And I'm going to call this open. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to create and that annotation will be placed on the floor plan. Now, when you hover over the annotation, it will pop up. You can see the annotation title and the description. And if you select more, you can see all of the information that we input with regards to the due date, the assignee and the status. There's also the option to share. That's going to copy the link to this particular annotation and you can then um, send that via email or add it to a different uh, document. And also you can click the three lines and that gives you the option to edit or delete. So to edit, it just takes you back into the editing window again and you can make any changes that you have here. Let's change this to resolved and I'm going to save. To minimize the window, you can click the X and it's back to just the description and the title. And the last button that we have on our tool panel here is where we can toggle the saturation of the sheet, essentially changing it from color to grayscale. The sheet that I'm uploaded is only in grayscale, so I'm just going to switch to another project where you can see we have some color markups here. And by clicking the desaturation button, we're just simply turning the color on and off. Um, that might be easier for viewing, just a user preference for this one.